welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I am so excited to share with you episode seven of my I Love Fall series. So we are going crazy on my channel, getting cozy for fall. We're decking out our homes with some really inexpensive, budget-friendly, boutique gorgeous home decor. And we're also bringing in the sounds of fall and the smells of fall. So there's so many little touches that you can add to your home just to make it feel really cozy. And that's what I wanna share with you guys here. Hello and welcome to my fall house tour. I am so excited to share with you how I've decorated my house for fall. I am going crazy on my channel right now with my huge I Love Fall series. This is gonna be episode seven. I just had to share with you guys some of my fall decor and we are actually starting outside my home. I've added just a few touches so far, but I will be doing some large garland displays over my door and also on my front pink bike, which I shared with you guys in another video. So here's that cute little pink pumpkin from Michael's. They are so adorable and perfect for my little shabby chic cottage. And if you guys can see, my petunias are still going crazy blooming. It has been the craziest summer. It'll be hot and then rain and hot and then rain and my petunias are loving that. So a lot of you have asked me questions about where I got my front door. It's actually a front screen and I got it from my neighbor's garage sale. I'm sorry you guys, I don't have a link for that, but I have seen doors similar to this one at Lowe's. So check there if you want a pretty shabby chic style screen door. And here is this darling scarecrow wreath. You guys, I cannot wait to share with you guys a DIY on this wreath. All of the supplies are from Dollar Tree and it is actually really simple to make and it comes out so adorable. You guys are gonna be so amazed with this project. So look for that next week on my DIYs and we will do, be doing more Fall Dollar Tree episodes of fun DIY tutorials. So here is my cat Tinky. He wanted to say hello to you guys and these are my favorite fall boots. We are going to go into my home to start this house tour. I am so excited to share with you guys what I have so far. If you guys know me, you know that I'm always constantly decorating. So here's my little entryway table. I have those cute pastel pumpkins that I painted. Those are also in my pumpkin palooza video that I will link down below and this beautiful mirror and you guys I am in love obsessed with the pumpkin cupcake from Bath and Body Works. It is so yummy. I bought several of them because I'm afraid they're going to sell out. Um, they do have the hand soap but not the lotion. So if you guys like kind of a sweeter fall smell, the pumpkin cupcake from Bath and Body Works is delicious. So this large picture, I was so excited to pick up at a garage sale. It's really cool and vintage chippy, and I got it for a dollar, you guys. It was such a steal. So here's my cozy fall living room. It is just so cozy in here. We love to watch movies as a family, and there's my daughter's cute little pink craft table. She loves crafting. Um, she's always got some kind of project going on. So here is also my hall tree that my husband created out of a vintage door and then he used a vintage bed to make the side rails and then just laid boards down flat. He added some detail down at the bottom and then at the top he knew that I needed somewhere to hang my purse and my coat and the kids backpacks so we have two large hooks on each side. And here is another garage sale find is my chandelier. I was so excited to find that. Um, of course more pumpkin cupcakes are being burnt in this living room, the candles, and then also here is my shabby chic curtain. You guys are going to see the little rose curtain kind of off back behind the white one. That is from the Simply Shabby Chic Target line. They have these available on eBay, I believe. 
I'll try and find a link and link it down below for you guys. Also, I've had you guys ask me about where I got the pink pillows at. I got those throw pillows at TJ Maxx as well as the large one back behind the pink pillow and the other one I found at Kohl's. And there's my crafting table. You guys, when you see me do DIYs, that's the table I'm crafting on. I love to get a project started and put on a show right there when my TV cabinet is opened up and just craft away. I just love to craft. And here is my crafting cabinet. This is just a large vintage dress that my husband brought home and painted white for me and here is that sweet little gather together sign you guys can find this at Dollar Tree and I just chalk painted the frame that I put it in it was such a simple fun project I'll leave that DIY link down below here is my second favorite Bath and Body Works candle it is the hot cocoa and cream oh my goodness if you guys are a chocolate lover I love this candle it's really strong so I only burn it for maybe 30 minutes to an hour and then it just lingers and I love it it smells like I've been baking brownies all day long so now it's snack time we're gonna have a delicious little candy corn treat you guys comment and let me know what is your favorite fall candy treat um, I love to set out fall candy I love Werther's candy corn um, pretty much anything with chocolate in it so I love fall and Halloween it's like a perfect excuse to eat candy and here are those sweet little velvet pumpkins I showed you guys these in an at-home store shop with me and haul I love them they're so beautiful and there's my weakness again that candy corn I just love it So here's that little burlap lace pumpkin that I created and the Hello Fall pillow. I have both of these in one of my DIY videos. It's actually on the Pumpkin Palooza video. I am going to link all of my fall DIY why videos down below I love this pillow because you can turn it around for the crochet side or for the hello fall sign I can turn it back to the other side so I thought that was kind of cool The big white cabinet here is my TV cabinet. I like to have it to where I can shut the doors on it if I want to. And then I also created these cute little pumpkins in another DIY fall craft with me video. And I actually ended up making two of those Hello Fall um, pillows because I just thought that they were so cute and so festive and here is that mantle decor this was a huge fall display that I created and I also shared with you guys how to do this kind of fuller fall display in episode 6 of my I love fall series so if you guys want to catch up with that I would love to have you pop on for that now I used this Dollar Tree thankful metal sign they come in a three pack and they are awesome they look really cool and rustic and then here's that large Dollar Tree bow I used Dollar Tree ribbon and then some gingham check pink ribbon from Michaels and then here are some of those Dollar Tree punk pumpkins and this little Dollar Tree planter has been so awesome I actually bought four or five of those during the springtime and I have just used them in almost everything and there's some of my chalk painted sunflowers so I hope you guys are loving this display I've had so many positive comments on it thank you guys so so much and then we're also going to do a huge Christmas display on this mantle so eventually you guys keep an eye out for my I love Christmas series um, comment and let me know what we should call the Christmas series but right now we're in fall so
And here's just a close up of that floral. Notice all the little details. There's some chalk painted fall leaves. There are also some large pink roses that I got during the springtime that I mixed in just to kind of tie in some of the accent pillows that I already have on my couch. And the burlap leaves was another DIY that I did in one of my videos that I'll link down below. So I just hope you guys are loving this and it's getting you all in the mood for fall. that you guys see close to my mantle I just repurposed that that was actually my boys bunk bed ladder um, the bunk bed days are long gone in my home but I just painted it white and then used it in my living room and then I love to add little uh, shutter accents here and there and then here's that pumpkin spice is everything nice mug that is my favorite mug right now I got that at TJ Maxx if you guys can find that that's where I found that and then here is that lace painted table. This was just an old trunk that used to be painted Barney purple. I did a lace painting video on how I just laid a piece of lace over this and sprayed the top of it to give this kind of floral effect. I thought it was so cool, you guys. Here is my Dollar Tree DIY fall wreath. I also have a tutorial on this. I will link that down below as well, but the sign comes from Dollar Tree, the pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. I feel like that's my theme for this year's I Love Fall series. I just love that saying. I think it's so, so sweet. And then here's all those Dollar Tree pumpkins, the pink ones, obviously I painted pink. And I just made this little plate collage on my wall. I love using plates to decorate with. I just think it's such a fun way to bring a vintage feel into your home. And then this is an old secretary that I painted white. The glass was gone, so I just hot glued lace onto the panels, and I feel like that worked. Here's that happy fall y'all sign that we created in another one of my fall decor DIYs. I'll also link that down below and the cute little mini cakes that you all see. I buy those from my wonderful friend Rhonda at Rhonda's Rose Cottage Designs. You guys, she makes the best fake cakes that I have ever seen. They're very reasonable and they're just a fun little treat to have around. also had a lot of you guys ask me how I painted my dining room furniture. I actually did not paint this. Surprisingly enough, this was a French country set that my mom gave me 
probably 15 years ago that she got um, when she worked at a furniture store so um, and then here is that cute little pumpkin candle that we DIY this is another Dollar Tree find um, you just use Mod Podge and glitter and voila and here it says cute DIY chalk painted sunflowers that we glammed up along with this pumpkin topiary so so many of the things you guys see in my home are all DIY projects that we all worked on um, we're on episode 7 of my I Love Fall series, so if you guys want to see any of the DIYs that I'm talking about, I'm going to link all of those down in the description box below and you guys can catch up with me on those. So here's one of the cute pink pumpkins that I'm going to be giving away in my giveaway. I am so excited to spoil one of you guys, so stay to the end and I'll share with you the instructions on how to enter this giveaway. I've been shopping for you guys and I really want to spoil someone, so I'm so excited for this. This is one of those cute little gold Dollar Tree pumpkins. I also used some of those Dollar Tree burlap leaves. I thought they looked really pretty and gave it added dimension. Also, there's that Dollar Tree little pumpkin patch sign. It came off of another sign, actually, that I took apart. And this cute little Dollar Tree feather. And I also um, painted these Dollar Tree pumpkins and gourds. I painted them in the same paint colors that I used on this kitchen hutch. And because I really wanted to tie everything in and hopefully make it all make sense. So you guys comment and let me know if you guys like how I did this mantle display and if you're gonna do something similar or if also if you guys just have any questions for me. So here is a quick kitchen tour. Um, that little cute pink step stool actually my aunt brought to me last weekend from TJ Maxx and here is this beautiful fall pastel floral garland. I hope you guys are loving it. I've seen garlands like this at Michael's for $30 plus. So I feel like we created this beautiful little garland for a fraction of the cost because most of the items we found at Dollar Tree or we just reused from some, some of our other seasonal decor. Um, I just love how beautiful and full it came out. So comment and let me know if you guys are loving this, if this um, was a good uh, display for you guys to show you you guys kind of how I do this. And then you're going to want to create your hot drink station. I used coffee and then my wafers and then my cute little pumpkin spice jars. And we're going to pour ourselves a delicious cozy drink. I'm going to add in some of my very favorite pumpkin spice creamer. So yummy. This can also be added to hot cocoa. And we're just going to have a nice little cozy fall drink. So I have just been wanting to give you guys some love back. You have shared so much love with me. So I wanted to share with you my giveaway. I have been shopping for this giveaway today and yesterday and the day before that. And I'm probably going to be picking up a couple more things because I really want to spoil you guys. You guys spoil me with all of your kind words and it truly means the world. So the first thing I wanna share with you guys to get you all ready for fall, since we're doing this I Love Fall series, is this cute little pink pumpkin that I made. 
I just thought you guys would love to have this for your home and I thought it would be so cute for fall. So I'm gonna do the pumpkin and then I found these super cute uh, glam gloves. How cute are these? Um, I thought you guys could use these to tidy up your home and just to be cute with. And then the next thing I have is I found this Kath Kitson hand cream. I just think this looks so super nice and the packaging is adorable. So the other thing I have for you guys is this super cute little blessed, um, it's just like a little pumpkin tray. It would be nice to put by your um, bedside table or maybe your to, when you're doing dishes to put your ring on. So there's that and some pink nail polish because we have to have cute pink nails, especially for fall. <laughs> Not really, but. <laughs> so anyway, the other thing I found that I thought was super duper yummy um, was this Wild Rose Luxury Soap. So this would be nice for your bathroom. And I also have this Lavender Bliss Spray that I picked up at TJ Maxx. My aunt had got one for me, and so I had to get one for you guys. So like I said before, I'm probably going to keep shopping for this giveaway, but here's just kind of a little teaser of what we're going to have. Okay, you guys, this giveaway is now open. All you have to do to be entered into this giveaway is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and comment and let me know what your favorite thing about fall is. I am so excited to spoil you all. This giveaway will be open for a week, and the winner will be announced Monday, September 3rd. So good luck. Thank you all so, so much for all of your love and support. And I'm excited to see who the winner is. You guys, I am so excited. I just cannot wait for fall. I cannot wait to share more DIYs with you. And we are going to go crazy with our DIY projects for Christmas as well. So be looking forward to that. And I just want to say you guys have blessed me every single comment. Truly, it means the world and it just blesses my artist heart. It makes me want to put out more videos for you guys. So if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I would love to have you be part of my YouTube family. Click the subscribe button. The little bell will also notify you whenever I post a new video. We are going to keep working on this I Love Fall series. I'm going to keep bringing you more DIYs. Thank you all so much for your love and encouragement. It really means the world. So I love y'all. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.